Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Angelica Fitzgerald and today we're gonna be testing out and trying one product. Now I am gonna film half the video right now and then <laughs> test this product out for a little bit of time and then the end half of my video is gonna be my thoughts, my results. Obviously, hopefully it works. But as you can tell from the title of this video, it's Dermalogica's new product, their Smart Response Serum. So haven't even taken it out of the package yet, have not used it yet. Um, I'm gonna use it for the first time in this video with you guys. Uh, I just got out of the shower, so feeling super clean and I'm ready to try out some new skincare if I can open it. Okay, so Dermalogica just came out with this. It is their newest product and it is supposed to be kind of like a shapeshifter of skincare meaning it targets what your skin needs at the time and prevent anything bad from happening before it happens. So if you have a pimple coming through, it's supposed to stop it. If you have redness flaring up, it's supposed to stop it. If you have something funky going on, it's supposed to stop it. So that sounds in theory pretty freaking awesome. Um, I just came back from traveling and I'm about to go travel again in a couple days. So my skin is kind of all over the place. The climates I'm going to are very different than California. They're hot, they're humid. My skin is just, it's unhappy. So I do have a couple of blemishes coming. They're on the way, they're on the rise, unfortunately. So this is like the perfect time to try this out, see if it actually does prevent the blemishes from coming. So um, this is what it looks like. Really different from their other packaging. It's like a tin silver can. Kind of reminds me of the skincare brand I reviewed a couple months ago, Proven, like very similar to that if you own that brand. And we're gonna see if it works, hopefully it does. So um, like I said, I just got out of the shower, my face is fresh, clean, all I used was a cleanser in the shower. And to just highlight where the blemishes are coming, right here, this is like not hidden at all, right around my lip a little bit, and then right by my forehead, right there. So. Got a couple different areas that we are trying to attack with this. So if you are ready to test this out with me, test it out on my skin for the first time, learn a little bit about the product, and most importantly, see if it works, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below to keep up with my future videos. Now, let's get started. Okay. So the first half of this video is gonna be really simple because it's just my first impressions. Um, real fast, I did wanna let y'all know, this does retail for $135. So it's not cheap by any manner, way, or form. Um, this is also one fluid ounce. So it's not the largest bottle. Now, I don't believe we need to use that much product, um, but $135 for one ounce of product is is up there um, to apply it just as each morning and night after cleansing and toning allow one minute for product to absorb it says next gen smart serum delivers what your skin needs when it needs it which like I said earlier in theory that sounds awesome smart response technology reacts to skin's needs to hydrate brighten soothe and address fine lines and wrinkles okay so let's go ahead and put some of this on. It is daytime where I am, so this is my first time using it. You are supposed to use this twice a day after morning and nighttime cleansing for testing purposes. I am gonna use it twice a day. Normally I would use something like this once a day, but I wanna do what the packaging suggests to get the most accurate results as possible. So I will use it again tonight and then for the next five days the same way and I will be filming my update on how these look after five days. I feel like you can get a good feel of how skincare is going to work or not work on your skin after about a week. So let's just go ahead and put this on, see what we think. Um, I am gonna be doing my makeup after this. So I'm kind of anxious to see how my makeup lays on top of this. Um, I will give y'all feedback on that after I've worn it a couple days under makeup. Um, but it looks like any other serum. It's like white, a little bit see-through. Smells really good. It smells like, what does it smell like? It smells florally. If you are sensitive to scents, which I know, I know that's a big thing in skincare sometimes. I personally never mind scents, but if you are sensitive to scents, sensitive to scents, 
this this may bother you because it is um it is a very like s strong scent um just a heads up but it doesn't bother me at all I, th I think it's relaxing it's calming it almost smells like lavender -y. so actually before you go to bed lavender i'm pretty sure is like a nice calming scent that you can use if you do like incense or something like that um so it's a nice calming scent but it is definitely there um doesn't really sit on the skin, like it absorbed right into the skin. I used two really small pumps and it was enough for my entire face. It doesn't really actually say how many pumps to use, so I think that's fine. And um, other than that, like I like that my skin does not feel like it has anything on it. So this was it for the first half. All we were doing was putting it on and seeing our initial thoughts. Initial thoughts are it smells fantastic. It did absorb very quickly into the face. It doesn't sting or burn. These are actually kind of all open. So it doesn't sting or burn at all. And I like it. So then this next half of the video will be a whole week from now. I will have used it for a while. Hopefully all of these blemishes are gone or severely minimized and we'll have lots more thoughts and opinions formed then. But keep on watching to see what my skin looks like a week from now and fingers crossed it's good results. Hey guys, so it has been five full days since I filmed the first part of the video. Honestly, I don't even remember what I said in the first part of the video. All I know is that for the last five days, I've been using this twice a day consistently. Tried it a couple different ways with no makeup on over it. I did try it underneath my makeup, put it on every morning, put it on every night, got the full experience and have seen some results after five days that I am really excited to share and report back with y'all. So I am actually going to take the face off so y'all can see my skin, because obviously right now I have makeup on, um, see my skin after five days of using this product so y'all can see how fast it works and what it actually did to my skin. And then we'll talk about what I thought about it, how it felt on my skin, how it wore under makeup. Really excited to talk about that. And yeah, then that'll be it. So let's go ahead and remove this face beat and put some more serum on. All right, I'm gonna just zip through the makeup removing process. Not that y'all really care, but I did just wanna share what I'm removing my makeup off with because it's balm and I've shared it a million times with y'all before. It is the Juno & Co Clean 10 Cleansing Remover Balm. It's amazing. And I do have a discount code, code Angelica15. It saves you 15% off of this. So. Just wanted to share because it is my everyday makeup cleansing remover balm and it's awesome. Every single person, friend, follower, family member, whomever that I've suggested this to that has gotten it comes back and is like, oh my God, I'm never using another cleansing balm again because this is it. And it's already pretty expensive alone, let alone with my discount code, it's a no brainer. It's like the cheapest one on the market and it's the best one. Oh yeah, um, all that black is mascara. I feel like a makeup removing balm that can get rid of all the mascara is it. And um, that is all my mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off and then start talking all about the serum. All right guys, we are back. Makeup cleansing balm is removed. I also used a cleanser. You should always use a cleanser after your cleansing balm because the first layer of cleansing balm just gets rid of like that base layer of makeup but doesn't like really clean the skin. So I just went in with my Espa Optimal Skin Pro Cleanser. This stuff's awesome, especially if you like kind of want to exfoliate and cleanse at the same time because it has little jojoba beads that like just push all that dirt away and really clean the skin. So I'll link these two products below if you're interested. Now let's talk about the serum, my experience, and my thoughts. So first off, I've been using it for five days, twice a day, so 10 times total. And I have loved the way it feels on my skin. So it absorbs really quickly. Um, so you don't feel like you have like a sticky residue or just like a film on your skin. It's also super lightweight on the skin, which I greatly appreciated when I use this in the morning for nighttime skincare products. I don't really care if they're heavy or like lay on the skin or shiny. I don't really care about any of that. But in the morning, Especially if you're gonna put makeup on after the last thing you want is a slip and slide or just greasy oily skin And then put makeup on top of it. So this absorbed so quickly It was almost like I had nothing on my skin when I put my makeup on actually what this did remind me of was the Kula uh, Face tanning serum which absorbs super duper quickly into the skin. I know the Kula one is like 
a self tanner but it's also a serum like a hydrating hyaluronic acid serum so same concept of them both being serums it absorbed just like that it sucked right into the skin was perfect to go underneath my spf and my primer and the makeup lasted all day long didn't get shiny early like nothing was different with it under my makeup so if you had that concern which was honestly my number one concern i can put that to rest for you it will not make you shiny it will not add oils it will not like lift your makeup up or make it slide off it does none of that it goes right into the skin and the makeup stays put the only way your makeup would fall off is if you like put some other product on but this product was great so i'm actually gonna go put some on right now um i just love how this feels on the skin it's really just like oh, soothing it smells great it gets absorbed quickly it adds hydration to the skin but doesn't add like i said the oils and shiny stuff it just adds just the hydration that you want okay so let's talk about my skin and how it has changed a little bit since using this for five days so the only blemish that is intact still is this little guy which this guy's like irritated like i pulled the little scab off earlier because it was like lifted it looked like flaky and i thought it was going to be fine but i just ended up reopening the wound so that's a little bit my bad but the other ones that i had i had some like right around here this one was huge and inflamed um also had a little bit of forehead and a little bit of chin stuff i mean i had stuff everywhere i i had i had some yeah so anyways the face is really cleared up like genuinely cleared up the only thing i have changed in my skincare routine um, is incorporate this and i took out my other serum obviously because i didn't need two serums overall i think it's safe to say i love the way this worked i really just like the quick transformation my skin had this is meant to respond to your skin's changes and whatever is surfacing on the skin so if you have a certain scar if you have a certain type of acne flaring up this is supposed to kind of adjust to whatever is coming up and i'm actually really excited i'm about to be traveling for two weeks straight one week in missouri one week in texas and it's hot and humid and very different than california weather there so i'm hoping that this can Kind of adjust to what my skin needs in those different environments and do what it's still doing which is just fix any situation that pops up on my skin so overall super happy it works really really well it works really really quickly and this is honestly even though it's red just because it was irritated earlier it's so 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 minimized it was like puffy uh last week when i shared it with y'all this is just red because I pulled the scab off, but I had that full face beat on that y'all saw like a couple minutes ago and you couldn't see any of it. Like it's flat, it's not inflamed. It's like the base surface of my skin. It's not puffy or irritated or inflamed or anything like that. Nothing on my skin is inflamed. Nothing on my skin is irritated. It's all really calm and just minimized and going away. So going out the door, which is what we want. <laughs> so. I have nothing but good things to say about it. Dermalogica, I've had such good experience with so many of their other products. I've tested and tried like maybe 10 at this point and they all just work so well. I mean, I really had high hopes for this product because Dermalogica is one of those brands I consistently have good results with. So it did not disappoint. It met my expectations, works really well. I would definitely suggest this if you are somebody that travels a lot and you have really inconsistent environments or just your skin is really inconsistent and it needs something that can adapt to it. So I will link this below and also um, the other couple of products I used in this video uh, just for easy access. So hit that description box if you want to check them out. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. But other than that, I will see you in next week's video and have a good day. <laughs> Bye.